This here is Home and Homesteader at the PC and Homestead. Told you that we had gotten some of that Reflectix at the Home Depot, and uh, our original idea was to put down some carpet to knock the cool off the floor. Well, we had gotten these carpets here at Walmart, just a standard 5x7. I thought I needed two, but with a little inventive scissoring. I've been able to make one fit in this area and a couple things I wanted to talk about here this little cutout piece you see the reflectix under there was uh, from around this here bench and uh, fortunately by turning it around I was able to get the lines to line up now I'm gonna have a little bit of a rough edge there I think I might put some uh, tape or something over that if I can find some brown tape so it'll match that and look like a good seam and then the last little bit I got here as you can see it doesn't go to all the way to the wall but that's okay uh, this is the one piece I had to cut off here from the end I'll put that down in there and then the last bit I got is to make this here lay flat and uh, where the table legs come through I'm just gonna poke a hole through here and then cut it out so that I got room for the table legs to go in instead of cutting around the table legs. Now this is going to make it a somewhat permanent rug and uh, or more like a carpet and then I'll just have to vacuum it with my little bristle push a broom a vacuum a thingy. Uh, but I think that'll work out okay. I'll get these holes cut out, put the table back in and as part of my wrap up on all the insulation projects I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the finished product. But uh, when you get to ready to spruce up your place, your RV or whatever, you can make a piece of carpet fit in here pretty good. It'd give you a little uh, insulation either against the cool or the heat, depending on which environment you're in. Uh, this Reflectix, along with this carpet, has probably brought it up about... I don't know, I'm almost 10 degrees. I could probably walk barefoot in here before I was having to wear house slippers, which I hadn't had to wear since, oh, back at 2002 or so when I lived in Michigan 4. Anyway, this is a little bit of insulation progress for keeping us warm here in the winter in the frozen tundra of Michigan. Uh, don't forget, if you like our content, to hit that thumbs up button push on the bell down there you get notified when we release new stuff and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and share with your friends and family because they might like our antics and adventures too just so you like update on property